Okay, this is actually uh, called a wiki. Um, we're going to be creating a personal or professional um, web page, um, a wiki in class um, this semester. This is actually a great project. We're starting it in the beginning of the semester so you guys can get to know each other. If you just click on view, um, you can actually see here, I kind of walked you guys through this a little bit, but it just talks about what we're going to be doing in the class. Um, I've actually created a template um, an example um, set up by me, an example of set up by a former student. Um, so what's really cool, you guys can kind of just get in there, um, click on the template, and follow these instructions by highlighting this information, and right click to copy, and create new. This is important that you guys do this. Um, so that we don't copy over the template. And you just want to put your name here at the top. And by hitting Control V, you're going to kind of paste everything there. Um, I tell you guys to copy and paste just so that you guys can kind of have a guideline of what I'm looking for. You're looking to put your name in, a little paragraph about yourself, picture, some links. Um, to things that you're interested in personally or professionally. Um, as long as these are appropriate, they can really be whatever you wish. Um, a lot of students like to put links into websites that they visit frequently, um, music or um, where they get their news or um, I've seen some really cool blog sites that students have referred us to. So really you can be creative. Um, and then links to the university, um, UMBC and UMBC at Shady Grove and USG. In order to insert a picture you can do insert image. You guys are welcome to pick an image that you find um, online if, it, if, if that's okay to, to copy for copyright purposes to use, or you're welcome to um, upload an, a picture of yourself. Um, so by clicking on Browse, one thing I do suggest though with a picture of yourself is that you do um, pick a picture that, that you actually shrink um, one of the pictures. I need to make this a little bit bigger um, because otherwise it's really too big. So I kind of shrunk this picture, um, but it still is a little bit big. So I can actually shrink it some more because I don't want my whole web page to be me. Um, so that's the way you insert a picture. One thing too that we're actually doing in here is linking to websites that maybe you're personally or professionally interested in. in the so I'll just start with the UMBC website. Um, I have it placed down here too. You can certainly use that. I think by using writing actually what the website is, if it's um, you know CNN where you get your news source, whatever it is, using the actual name of the organization rather than typing out www.cnn. You know, com or whatever it is. Um, this actually looks a lot cleaner. So, highlighting UMBC, right clicking it, and insert edit link is a good way to get in there. Um, and then, what I like to do is actually go to a, a second window and actually open the website and copy and paste the URL. That way there's no errors. Another thing I like to do is under target by clicking open in a new window. This is a nice feature because then you can um, then it opens up in a new page. You might actually have to I have to pull I had to pull my box down in order to see this insert tab. And let's see if that worked. Okay, as you can see here, it actually, you can see that there it's underlined as though it's linked, but when I hover over it, I'm not able to access that. That's because we're in the edit format. Once you save your web page um, and go outside, you're probably going to see this little circle, and then when I hover over it, you can see that it will take me to the UMBC web page. So this is just a quick review of how to set up your wiki, um, and we can review this more. Thank you so much, and have a good day.